managing to smile despite losing his friends in an avalanche. Speaking exclusively to Al Jazeera, Gaji Sherpa considers himself lucky to be alive. He was one of six who survived the disaster a week ago on Mount Everest. He didn't want to speak directly on camera, but told me that it happened quickly. He's been a Sherpa guide since 2008 and only started climbing a year ago. My family never wanted me to scale a peak or be a guide, he told me. But when you see the view from the top, it's magical. But we lost so many in this incident. I'm giving up, and when I'm better, I'm returning to my village to be a farmer. Thirteen Sherpa mountain guides were killed last Friday. Other Sherpas are now reluctant to return to the slopes. And selling Sherpa represents mountaineering tour operators who are worried about the situation. Mountaineering is the backbone of the rural economy. It can bring in as much as $26 million as it did last year. For this to continue, we in the Tourism Association need to address the concerns of the Sherpas. It's the height of the tourist season in Nepal. The optimum time to climb is in the month of May. Tourism generated millions of dollars last year. But when it comes to the financial help the government can give to Sherpa guides who will not climb the season, its position is clear. They do not want to climb, so it is their own decisions. So in that case, I think um, it will be very difficult for us to, you know, provide some subsistence assistance because it is a huge number of people. But the government is taking care of the health care costs of Gaji Sherpa and other guides who were injured in the avalanche. Earlier this week, the Nepalese government said it would increase the minimum insurance cover for Everest guides and set up a fund for the families of victims as well as pay for their children's education. That, after strong criticism that they generate millions of dollars in climbing revenues but do very little for Sherpas. Officials insist that anyone can climb Nepal's mountains. The only problem, there are no Sherpas to guide them up. Sahil Rahman, Al Jazeera, Kathmandu.